Uh, north of the Bay Area, the two fires making up the Mendocino complex now cover an area larger than the city of Los Angeles. They're still threatening more than 9,000 structures. But KPI X5 reporter Mary Lee tells us that crews are making progress finally on containment, Mary. Yes, finally. That's right, Ken. At least 119 homes have burned in these fires, but for the first time in days, many evacuees are now being allowed back to see what remains. Mike Herman and his wife returned to Clear Lake Oaks yesterday after spending five days at an RV park up Interstate 5 in Orland. Mike owns three properties in the area, his home, his business, and a rental. He returned home to find all three still standing. There's concern you're going to come back and nothing. But, but you came back. We came back with everything, so it was good. It all worked out good. Just an inconvenience, but uh, in the long run, it's a little minor inconvenience to what some of the other people are, are having that don't have houses to come back to. Well, some evacuees told us they had to drive more than 100 miles to find lodging because every hotel in the area was full. Others are still waiting to return home. Senator Kamala Harris visited evacuees and firefighters in Lake County about an hour ago. She also made a promise to fire crews. They're making very difficult decisions with limited resources to do the work of, of keeping communities safe. And um, so I'm here to, to talk with them and learn as much as I can so I can take their concerns and, and their voice back to Washington when I get back there to make sure that the federal government is doing its part to make sure that the folks on the ground get the resources they need. As for the progress on containment, firefighters now have strong lines around 48% of the ranch fire. The smaller river fire west of Clear Lake is 84% contained. Ken? All right, thank you, Mary. Meanwhile, a Cal Fire heavy equipment operator is now the eighth person killed as a result of the car fire. 40-year-old Andrew Brake died in a traffic crash this morning on his way back to the fire zone near Redding. The Chico native leaves behind two daughters. Governor Brown has ordered capital flags flown at half staff in Brake's honor.